the short is the insertion short now suppose the data 9 4 2 8 7 0 1 2 3 4 now starting from here compare these two now 4 is lesser than 9 then update this content so 4 9 2 8 7 so this part is the sorted part right part is the unsorted part next starting with uh, compare with this 2 with 9 okay now swap then 2 with 4 then swap okay so this particular part is the sorted part this part is the unsorted part then compare 8 with 9 okay 8 with 4 okay so it is in between 4 to 9 so 2 4 8 9 7 so this part is the sorted part this part is the unsorted part now take this one compare 7 with 9 okay 7 is lesser 7 with 8 7 is lesser 7 with 4 now 4 is bigger than then 7 should be in between 4 and 8 the output will be 2 4 7 8 9. and end of this now we can take another example suppose 9 1 4 now starting from here compare 1 and 9 so 1 is lesser than 9 so swap. so sorted part sorted part unsorted part now take the value 4 2 6 3 now compare 4 with 9 4 is lesser than 4 is, 4 is lesser than 9 4 is greater than 9 that means 4 should be in between 1 and 9 so 1 4 9 ok sorted part unsorted part then take this one uh, 2 with 9 2 is lesser than 9 2 with 4 2 is lesser than 9 2 with 1 2 is greater than 9 1 that means 2 should be in between 1 and 4 that means 1 2 4 9 sorted part unsorted part then 6 6 is lesser than 9 6 is greater than 9 4 that means 6 should be in between 4 and 9 that's why it is called insertion we have to we are inserting a data in between the value so 1 2 4 6 9 then sorted part unsorted part now finally 3 3 is lesser than 9 3 is lesser than 6 3 is lesser than 4 3 is greater than 2 ok so here we have to put the insert the value so 1 2 3 4 6 9 so it's a insert a sort now you can see the program header files insertion sort function ok print the content of the array mean function the data you want to sort for to know the array size ok now before sorting the arrays the print the content of the array before sort call the insert sort function print after sorting the array print the content of the array ok now display the content of the array and this is the insertion sort now just take one example suppose Nine four two eight seven so zero one two three four. Okay, now here we are passing the array name and the size of the array. Okay, now here we are receiving the array name and size of the array. So total number one two three four five. So it will be the five. Okay, i is equal to one to less than mean. So i is equal to one, not from zero to uh, less than n n is 5 less than n is 4 so i will be first 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 now key is equal to ai what is key ai a1 what is a1 this is a a1 is what 4 key is equal to 4 so it is 4 
g is equal to i minus 1. What is g? i what is i? i is equal to 1. 1 minus 1, 0. While, uh, please ignore this c plus plus. While g greater than 0, condition is true because g is equal to, uh, uh, what is g? G, g? g is, yeah, g greater than equal to 0, yes, condition is true. a j is greater than a key. What is a j? a 0. What is a 0? 9. And what is key value? Key value is 4. Condition is true. Then a j transfer a j value to a j plus 1. What is a j? What is j? j is equal to 0. So a 0 to a 1. That means transfer 9 to 4 here. So after that, the content of the array will be uh, 9, 2, 8, 7. Okay. Now j is equal to j minus 1. What is j? j is equal to 0, 0 minus 1 means j is equal to minus 1. Okay, now one second while loop, j greater than equal to 0, now the condition is false. Condition is false means come out from the loop. Come out from the loop means what now? What is the content of the j now? j it is minus 1, so a minus 1 plus 1 is what? 0, a 0 is key. What is key value? Key value is 4. Now key value is 4 means we have to uh, store 4 in a 0. So a 0 in a 0 we have to store 4. Okay. Now sorted part, unsorted part. Now next i is equal to 2. So if i is equal to 2, identify the key value. So what is a2? a2 is 2. It is 2. What is j minus 1? Uh, uh, i minus 1. What is i? i is equal to 2. That means what is j? j is equal to 1. Now j greater than equal to 0. Yes. Now the value of j is what? 1. And what is a j? What is a1? a1 is what? What is a1? Now this is 1, 2, 3, 4. What is a1? This is a, a1 is what? 9. Now it is 9. And what is key value? So key value is now it is 2. Now this one. Now condition true or false. Now condition is true. Then transfer aj to aj plus 1. So what is aj? What is a1? a1 is 9. You should transfer to 2. Now after that the content will be like that okay now j is equal to j minus 1 now j value it is 1 now it is 0 okay now it is 0 now j greater than equal to 0 condition is true because it is 0 what is a uh, what is a 0 a 0 is what 4 and what is key key value is what 2 now condition true or false now condition is true then transfer aj value to aj plus 1. So what is aj? a0 because transfer what is a0? a0 is what? 4 shift to a1. So now the value will be 4, 9, 8, 7. Now j is equal to j minus 1. Now the j value will be what? Minus 1. j greater than equal to 0. Now condition is false. Condition is false. Come out from the loop. Now transfer key value to aj plus 1. What is j plus 1? j initially it is minus 1, minus 1 plus 0 it is 0 a 0 so key value 2 a 0 what is key value key value is 2 so keep store 2 here now sorted part and unsorted part now check similarities in the similar way you just check if i is equal to 3 and i is equal to 4 okay and thank you very much this is sort two header files are there okay inside uh it's insertion sort function okay Next, uh, let's say print the content of the array, okay. And inside main function, call the insertion function. This is the array you want to sort. Okay, these are the data. Now, if you run, before sorting, the array is six three five two four one seven.